Moving on to our next story, my posture. I'm going to try to fix my posture. Uh, maybe I should just pull the chair in. Again, this is, me- this is meaningless to all of you listening in through our Podbean. But either way, we're talking about Ultra Galaxy Fight, the absolute conspiracy, which is the funniest, but in a good way. Like, I love the name so much. Uh, the absolute conspiracy, because it sounds like it's just someone screaming it, like, the absolute conspiracy. Uh, so what is this? <laughs> what is the absolute conspiracy? So apparently, after Ultra Galaxy Fight New Generation Heroes, which was on the Subodaya YouTube channel last year, after that success, it was a mini series, by the way, if you were unaware, um, it had a Japanese and English dub. I don't believe the Japanese dub sadly had English subtitles, though, so it was basically just Japanese for Japanese fans and the dub for us and i didn't hate the dub i remember seeing a bit of it i didn't hate the dub but obviously i would like the japanese version i believe however that it is available i think i talked about this last episode it is now available on a disc um i believe it was released with ginga i I think um don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure it was released fair or will be released fairly recently on Ginga and Ginga S. Actually, sorry, I'm mixing that up with Ultra Fight Victory. Man, these names are fun. So either way, though, this series, The Absolute Conspiracy, will be 10 episodes long and will combined be approximately 90 minutes. So an hour and a half. And according to the Ultra Galaxy website, this is what the story is. It says that mysterious aliens and evil aliens that shouldn't exist are attacking. Which I have to say, I know they're talking talking about the evil aliens here but it sounds kind of rude they're like and these things should not exist like a lot of shade just kind of being thrown out of nowhere anyway so it says that zero rebut taiga zet 80 max mebius great powered and oh no i practiced her name and now i forgot her name uh how to pronounce it grigio 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 Damn it, I practiced her name. Anyway, so Grigio and many more Ultra Heroes must join forces, fight together, and solve this mysterious case, which could end up affecting the whole universe. However, this is only the beginning. A conspiracy is underway, and the threads of it are intersecting. What is the aim of the Golden Giant working? in the shadows so there is a trailer for this by the way in english again linked uh like the other articles as well linked in the description box down below watching this through our youtube channel so which by the way is tokyo dragon so the uh by the way it goes on to say that the storyline will connect directly with the all new ultraman z z series where the latest chapter of the epic history of ultraman begins so pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Uh, it says that, by the way, it will be debuting in winter 2020. So I don't know how they filmed this. I don't know if they filmed this around the time they filmed Ultraman Z. I don't know how they even have all of Ultraman Z ready to go, honestly, for us, uh, with all the social distancing guidelines and whatnot. So either way, though, I'm still happy that this is coming out. New Ultraman content, and it's free. And for me, that's the most important thing. Look, is it good that it would be good? Yes, of course. But free, you can't really beat me at free. Uh, when, if Zum's free, I'm definitely going to at least try to check it out a little bit. So even though there probably will be a dub, I do hope that the sub uh, or that the Japanese version does have English subtitles, very much like Ultra Ultraman Z has. And hopefully, and I'm hoping here, if it does have subtitles, they aren't dub titles um this has happened before not with Subadaya. i'm not saying that Subadaya has done this before but i've been around long enough in the anime game that uh it's happened before and uh it's a little it's a little concerning and if you're thinking i'm not going to call them out i will ghost in the shell and one of the newer Yu-Gi-Oh movies oddly enough not the original Yu-Gi-Oh series that ended up getting released by Funimation weirdly enough on DVD uh no I don't believe those subs were dub titles uh but the newer movie I forgot which one it was um I believe it might have been a crossover it had Japanese audio on the disc people were freaking out people were happy and then oh no dub titles so Hoping that doesn't happen here if it does get a uh, subtitles at all for the Japanese side of things. And I have to say, you know, again, 
this is definitely interesting to me. Um, I do have to watch the the other series though that they had released. I uh, want to make sure I get the name right. The um, the Ultra Galaxy Fight New Generation Heroes. I still do have to watch that to be fair, but um, still very interested in seeing how this is uh, you know going to look. And also, I need to get into more Ultraman. Just looking at some of these series, I'm like, I don't know you, and I don't know you. Um, again, as you noticed, it was very hard for me to talk about uh, Grigio. And one name, though, that I like, Ultraman Naos. Oh, man, that one takes me back. Don't give up, don't give up, oh, Naos. That's an oldie but a goodie. believe that one came out in 01. I think uh, that would be a fun one to see on uh, on Blu-ray. So either way, though, um, this article over here the on the Tokusatsu News Network talks about some more Ultraman that we didn't talk about before. So it's not just Zero, Reba, Taiga. There's also Titus, Fuma. We obviously know about Zet. We know about Grigio. We know about AD. But there's also Max, Mebius, Hikari, Naos, and Ultra 721, which I should totally know who Ultra 721 is, right? I should. He was featured in Naos. And I talked about liking Naos so much. Oh man, it's been way too long since I've seen Naos. So, either way, tell me what your thoughts are on this series. Are you interested? Are you not interested? What I think is cool is that on the YouTube channel, they're trying to uh, hype this up. They also, also have a message from director Koichi Sakamoto, who you might be familiar who he is if you ever saw that Power Rangers thing. You might be aware of what that Power Rangers thing is, yeah? So uh, he, was, he kind of directed some stuff on that and uh, everything else. <laughs> and back to Sentai and also to Ryder. You know, that guy. So he's working on this, which is actually pretty cool. And yeah, again, just tell me what you think about this. Are you interested or are you not interested in the comment section down below?